Bangladesh reported 77 deaths from coronavirus in the last 24 hours and 2,955 new cases detected. Government would collect the vaccine from whenever it could, said Obaidul Kader. And nine buses at the Bandura bus stand in North Gonj caught fire. Two people were burned. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Fauzia Roshan with you in the newsroom today. We are still watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Bangladesh reported 77 deaths from coronavirus in the last 24 hours, rising the toll to 11,305 across the country. Besides, 2,955 new cases of coronavirus were detected over the same period, rising the total number of infections to 7,54,614 across the country so far. A press release issued by the Director General of Health Services confirmed the development on Wednesday. In the development of this process, last 24 hours, 28,206 samples were examined, and out of them, 2,955 got positive results for the virus. Apart from 5,392 more recovered from the virus, taking the total recoveries to 6,72,319, the press release added. The government has issued a gadget notification extending the ongoing countrywide lockdown by another week from April 28 till May 5 in a bid to contain the spread of a deadly coronavirus. The Cabinet Division issued the graduate notification in this regard on Wednesday. According to the graduate notification, a ban has been imposed on entry of travelers from India through the country's land, river and airports. Bangladeshis who are now in India and whose visas have expired can enter Bangladesh on a special consideration taking permission from the Bangladesh High Commission. Avamalik General Secretary Abadul Kader said there was no need for a special relationship with anyone over the corona vaccine, adding that the government would collect the vaccine from whenever it could to save the people. He said that the biggest challenge now is to avoid the politics of blame and deal with corona, the common enemy of all, irrespective of a party affiliation. Abadul Kader told reporters at the Bonani Cemetery in the morning after paying his respects to the Prime Minister Minister and later to the party at his grave on the occasion of a seventh birth anniversary of Shohid Sheikh Jamal. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasida to the sought the G20 nations key role in stopping a global carbon emission and simultaneously called for a strict implementation of the Paris Agreement to save the planet from the adverse impacts of climate change. While delivering her recorded statement award on the inaugural day of the two defined policy virtual climate summit, the Prime also put emphasis on undertaking united efforts by all countries of the world to get rid of the deadly COVID-19 virus. Sheikh Hasina point that the strict execution of the Paris Agreement is the only way to check a global carbon emission and thereby global warming. Climate change is not boundary specific. If one country emits, every country is affected. So, every country would have to play its role. The bottom 100 countries in terms of GDP account for just 3.5 percent of the global emission worries, the G20 countries are responsible for 80 percent. Nine buses at the Bandura bus stand in Dhaka's Noabgonj have caught fire. Two people were burned and were admitted to the health complex in critical condition. The fire also burned down about 10 shops in the area. The fire broke out around 10 a.m. After receiving the news, four units of a fire service brought the fire under control in two hours. The fire is believed to have started from a petrol station next to the bus stand.
Three people were killed and another was injured as a truck hit a CNG run auto rickshaw in a Tarakanda Upazila of Maman Singh this morning. The deceased was identified as Shohid Mia, the auto rickshaw driver, Kolil Mia, and Masum Mia from Durgapur Upazila of Netrukona. Quoting locals, officer in charge of Tarakanda Police Station, Muhammad Abul Khair, said the accident happened at Kicha when the truck hit the Maman Singh bound auto rickshaw, leaving Shahid dead on the spot and the three others injured around 10 a.m. The injured were rushed to Maman Singh Medical College Hospital where doctors declared Khalil and Masum dead. We are about to the end of the headlines once again. Bangladesh reported 77 deaths from coronavirus in the last 24 hours and 2,955 new cases detected. Government would collect the vaccine from wherever it could, said Obaidul Kader. Nine buses at the Bandura bus stand in Noab Gonj caught fire. Two people were burnt. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us to join with My TV News Online. Visit YouTube slash My TV News and to watch all our programs. Visit YouTube slash My TV Bangla, Facebook slash My TV Bangla and Twitter slash My TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Viewers, be careful to prevent coronavirus and follow the hygiene rules. Allah Hafiz.